Hello everybody, welcome back, hope you're doing really well. So today is going to be another House of Colour makeup themed video where I'm going to talk through all of the makeup that I have bought from House of Colour. Now I had my appointment with House of Colour on the 20th of December and I'm filming this on the 21st of January so I have known my colour season for a little over a month now and I am an autumn, I'm an autumn leaf to be precise so I am those stereotypical colours that you think of when you think of autumn. So this colour, this is actually one of my wow colours, my 100% colours, this is a moss green. Also colours like that rich rust, the rich reds, ambers, golds, chocolate browns. And the makeup that I've bought from House of Colour has been makeup colours suggested for autumns. Now I have bought seven items from House of Colour. I've bought six lipsticks and one liquid lipstick. And when I had my appointment, a few days afterwards, I went through my makeup collection and tried to figure out how much of my makeup actually suited my season. Now luckily most of it does, which is really, really good. The colours that don't, I think I am gonna be de decluttering them. So keep your eye out for a declutter video sometime soon. So yeah, most of my, my makeup suited my colour season, but it was things like lipstick that I felt was really lacking. For a while now, for a lot of last year, I was just really uninspired with my lipstick collection. I felt like a lot of the colours didn't really suit me. I think I had a big lipstick declutter as well. So that's why I have bought seven lip items from House of Colour, because I know that they suit me. And I personally love lipstick. It is, it is my favourite part of my makeup routine. It is my favourite makeup product to wear, to apply, to collect, to look at, to, to browse for. So I'm really happy now that I have a lot more colours in my collection that suit me. So that's what I want to show you in today's video. I want to show you those colours. So I suppose this video is a little bit niche. If you're not particularly into colour analysis then this might not be the most exciting video for you. But if you are and if you yourself are an autumn or if you're looking at me going I look really similar to you. I've got a similar hair colour, similar eye colour, similar skin tone. Then hopefully it's going to be really useful. So I am wearing one of my wow colours, one of my 100% colours and hopefully that's going to help to show off the lipsticks even more. This is my natural hair colour as well. I've got real minimal makeup going on today but warm makeup so hopefully because it is minimal it's not going to you know clash with the lipsticks. Ideally I would have filmed this in natural lighting and I did actually start filming in the lounge by a big window but the colour was going in and out. It looked horrible. So I do have a window open behind me there and then I've got a ring light on so we are working with a little bit of artificial light and natural light so hopefully it's going to make the lipsticks look as authentic and as true to colour as possible. So after my appointment then when I went through my makeup collection I did initially buy four lipsticks so I bought myself my three points of red, I bought a warm red, I bought a coral and I bought a rust but I also bought a nude as well and on a day-to-day -day basis I love wearing a nude lipstick. It's not very often that I wear a bright colour, a deep dark colour or a red, I feel much more comfortable in the nudes. So I wanted my three points of red, so I've covered them, but I also wanted a nude as well. And the nude I went for is number 491 Autumn Shimmer, which looks a little bit like a Rimmel 90s lipstick throwback. Now I now have three nudes from House of Colour and when I've opened every single one of them I thought, oh that's, that's dark, that's not a nude but it's important to remember the words associated with your season. So for autumns, we are warm, rich, vibrant, and earthy. So our nudes, our nude lipstick colors, aren't gonna be your typical nudes that you think of, the really, really pale nudes. They are gonna have some richness behind them. They are gonna have some depth, some, some warmth, and this one definitely does. Now the formulation of these lipsticks I really enjoy. I think they're really creamy to apply, great pigmentation, and they last for a long amount of time as well. So great colours and great formulation. And I will show you how this one applies. You can see just how easy it is to apply, how creamy it is and the level of pigmentation. So that is just one coat. I like to blot and go in with the second coat so I'm gonna do that and I'll be back in just a sec. So this is how Autumn Shimmer looks. So a really beautiful nude natural pink but it does have some depth 
and some vibrancy and richness behind it as well really really lovely color i love this one i think this one will probably work better with more coral colors or some of the blues and maybe a bit better in the spring and summer months as well so this would make a great option for your pink nude lipstick for autumns now i personally like to wear more brown nude lipsticks so i actually went and ordered two more lipsticks off the house of color website both in a brown nude shade so the first one is 621 soft amber and this one is quite similar to the next one i'm going to talk about but this one has more orange behind it so same thing, I put one layer on, blotted with a tissue, another layer and a quick blot again. And you can see that this has a lovely orange, very autumnal, obviously, depth to it. So this one would be great in October, in November, in December, in the pure autumn months. But obviously if you're in autumn, you're going to be wearing your shades year round anyway. But this is such a beautiful, warm, orange, nude lipstick works lovely with the eyeshadow as well and I feel like this one goes especially nice with this moss green top as well so a beautiful shade love this one I think I'm gonna get such a lot of use out of this one and probably get through it really really quickly now this one is my favorite that I've bought so far from House of Colour this is 706 Autumn Nude and this is definitely a me kind of lipstick now where the previous shade soft amber had more of an orange undertone orange base to it this one has more of a pinky brown undertone but definitely not as pink as the first lipstick so this one is much more of that kind of muted nude i think this one would go with more makeup looks than say soft amber and the first one but all three of them so far absolutely beautiful colors but this one is definitely my favorite also just want to add as well i'm not wearing any of these with any lip liner now yes it would probably look better with lip liner it would look a little bit neater a little bit more crisp but just to show that you don't need to wear lip liner with it if you don't want to a lipstick on its own is fine and then you can use the pointy end to try and act as a lip liner and i think this shade will be the one that i will use up the quickest because this is my most worn shade so far like i say i, I very much like the nude lipstick so this is one that i reach for a lot more frequently than the other colors so those were my three nude lipsticks and I'm now going to talk about my three points of red and each season has their own three points of red and for autumns they are a warm red, rust and a coral. Now you can wear all of your autumn shades all together because they're all in your, in your palette they all suit each other and they all complement each other but the exception to that are your three points of red. So if I was to wear a coral with a warm red they'll clash a little bit. So House of Colour recommend that you get a lipstick in each of your three points of red. So if I was to wear a warm red top, if I was to wear a coral lipstick with it, it would clash a little bit. My warm red lipstick would work better in its place. So I have worn all three nude lipsticks with this green top. And in my mind, you might disagree, but hopefully you will agree with me, that they all worked really well with the top. Now I can wear all three of my three points of red with this top but I'm gonna change my top to my my three points of red just to show you how it will look now I'm gonna start off with L5 rust and actually I don't own any rust clothing so I can't change my top for this one but I can with the other two and this lipstick is my second favorite so this one my autumn nude is my favorite lipstick but rust is beautiful and rust was actually what I wore in my appointment and I really loved it it's that warm rich earthy brown red and this is how rust looks and actually rust is another one of my 100% colors so I feel like these two work together so well they complement each other really well now although I've said that I very much prefer to wear nude lipstick colors I feel like rust is a really wearable red lipstick it doesn't have the brightness of say your telephone box red it's much more softer it's it's more muted it's got a bit more richness and earthiness behind this so although it's a red it's much more like a toned down version of a red and I feel very very comfortable wearing this version of red compared to that you know typical blue based telephone box red so the rust works really well with the green but if I was to wear a coral or a warm red like this warm red jumper I have it clashes a little bit now I don't think it looks bad because they're all my colors they're all awesome colors but it doesn't work quite as well as if I was to wear a warm red lipstick with this instead of the rust color 
And this is my warm red lipstick. This is L12. This is in the shade Brick. And this was the lipstick colour that I wore when I spoke about my House of Colour appointment and my process. And I had on a very, very similar top to this, but it was just a turtleneck, I think. So hopefully you can see that this one works a little bit better than the Rust does. There's more kind of harmony between the lip colour and the jumper. And this red I think is beautiful. I think where people struggle with a red lipstick is not finding the right tone of red for you. And that's definitely something that I have experienced in the past because usually red lipsticks, they are that blue based red, which is great if you have a cool undertone. But if you have a warm undertone, if you're a spring or an autumn, then a orange based red lipstick is gonna work so much better for you because it has that warmth. It's got that richness and that earthiness and it just works so much better with your coloring. So a beautiful red lipstick, this is definitely a much more complimentary red on me than other shades that I've tried in the past. But because I am a nude girl, I love my nude lipsticks, this is one that I'm not going to wear too often. But if I have an occasion, if I've got a dinner out somewhere, or if I want to make a bit more of an impact, then this is one that I'll definitely get out and wear. And it still works with the green top as well. I think this is probably a bit more festive, a bit more Christmassy. I'd probably wear this look more in December, whereas with the Rust lipstick, I think that look works a bit better than this one, and it works much more in the autumn months as well. But these still go. With a colour like this green, I can wear any of my three points of red, but I think the look is a bit more impactful when I wear it with my warm red clothing. But if I was to wear it with a coral, again, we've got a clash going on because coral is another one of the three points of red for an autumn. And this is a top from Kettlewell and this is actually a perfect match to the coral in my colour fan. So there is a bit of a clash going on. Again, it doesn't look really, really bad, but it's not going to look as harmonious as if I was to put on my coral lip which is this lipstick, 709 Soft Smooth Coral. So you'll see that it's a lot more harmonious compared to when I had my warm red lipstick on. Everything looks a lot more cohesive, more tonal. It just works so much better. There's not that slight clash going on. And actually when I bought this top, I was thinking, oh, I'm not really sure about this. Now Coral is 75% excellent for me. So 75% two stars. So I can wear a lot of Coral in my look, but because I'm not really used to wearing bright colors like, like this, when I put it on, I was a bit like, oh, this is a little bit intimidating. But now that I've worn it with the appropriate makeup, because when I tried it on, I had no makeup on, I think it works so much better. And I think this would be a lovely combination for the spring and summer months. And although I'm a true autumn, I am better suited to those really rich, earthy, stereotypical autumn colours. Those aren't your only options for autumns. You do have lighter colours, you do have brighter colours, you do have a bright coral like this that you can wear. So a lovely shade to wear and I think I will get more use out of this lipstick in the spring and summer months. But it can also work as well with moss green with this top that I've got on but I feel like it does work a lot better with a brighter colour. I think a rich earthy colour like this one that's slightly darker works better with a rust lipstick but it still works together. It's still a cohesive look. And then the last item I want to talk about is my liquid lip. This is also in a nude shade. This is in the shade 110 and it doesn't say the name of the colour on it I don't think but this was the nude option and I think that was a very very bright coral orange shade and also a deep warm red as well but I wanted another nude option. Now I'm not a massive fan of liquid lipstick so that's really why I only bought one so I wanted to see what this formulation was like before I ended up buying a couple more and I'll show you how this one applies. And that's how this one looks dried down and it dries down pretty quickly. It does feel a little bit drying, but I think liquid lipsticks are gonna feel like that anyway. So maybe go in with a little bit of lip balm first or apply a lip gloss over the top. And I do have quite dry lips today, so it has clung to a couple of bits of dryness on my lips, but the color I think is really, really beautiful. It's so natural. And I wanted this kind of shade as like an everyday shade that's appropriate for work but also I can work with a slightly deeper smoky brown eye, a lip shade that's going to be really versatile regardless of what I wear. And it also goes really well with the green top I've got on. 
I am going to put a little bit of some clear lip gloss over the top just to make it a little bit more comfortable and just show you how it looks as well with a bit of a sheen going on. So it feels a bit more comfortable now with a bit of clear lip gloss over the top and I like how it looks as well. It's not affected the liquid lipstick underneath it at all. It's not moved, it's not become patchy. And I do also own a Kiko lip gloss that's in a very similar shade to this. So I think the two of them together would be really nice. So that is my collection so far of House of Colour makeup. I will probably end up getting more lipsticks in my collection also lip glosses as well, maybe a couple of the lip liners. I might try the two other liquid lipstick shades as well. I don't think I'm particularly bothered about buying any eyeshadows from them. I think I've got enough eyeshadows in my collection that suit me and I'm not a huge wear of eyeshadow either. And I might at some point as well get some other blushes as well. So if I do end up adding a lot more makeup into my collection, I'll probably do another video like this and show you what else I've added. But I hope that was interesting. So if you yourself are a House of Colour Autumn, hopefully that's been really interesting to see what all the different shades look like. Or like I say, if you do have similar colouring to me, but you haven't been colour, colour analysed, hopefully that's been helpful as well. And also if you have any, you know, non House of Colour makeup suggestions, please let me know as well, because I don't just want to limit myself to House of Colour. I like the House of Colour because it makes it so incredibly easy to know that the colours are going to suit you. But I love makeup, I love experimenting with different brands. So if you know of any colours that would suit me, please let me know. So if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've also not subscribed, please subscribe as well. It would be lovely to have you here. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye.